vibe coding. That's it. You can end the video right now. What? Okay, okay. Before you come at me with a bunch of pitchforks, hear me out. I don't mean vibe coding in the conventional sense. That's AI slop generation and inshallah. What I mean by vibe coding is coding whatever you want. Coding for yourself. I recently noticed I've been in a bit of a rut. I need to code for work, I need to research stuff for this channel, and all the while, programming gives me the ick. But that isn't right. I love this. I spend 40 hours a week at work, I spend my spare time on this channel, I talk code with my buddies, I'm meant to love this. What I forgot was when I'm grinding away at work, I don't control any of that. I'm not coding for the sake of my passion, but I'm coding for my paycheck, promotion, whatever it is. And when I'm doing stuff for the channel, I can't really discuss how I'm super into using NeoVim on my iPhone, or I just really want to use Zig because I like the way the code looks. No seriously, something about the aesthetics of Zig? It scratches a part of my monkey brain. Go does the same. Just something about it. Not too much like Java, not too little like C, it's just right. So once a week I've set up something I call Vibe Coding Time. I'll try to sketch out some time on my calendar. It can be an hour, two hours, whatever I can make. And I just decide to code whatever it is. Whether it's making silly stuff in Zig. Like literally, I'll just start printing four loops in Zig and see where I go. Maybe I'll try to print out a pyramid or an ASCII Pikachu. Or whether it's just trying to get NeoVim set up on my iPhone. I don't really care. It's not a course. It's not a side hustle. It's not a project. It's just a chill coding session. A coding session for myself. And hence somewhat ironically, I call it a vibe coding session. A set of time where I can just let out a part of me that loves technology just come out and enjoy whatever that is, with no real end goal. You see, when you do things for the sake of an outcome, you need to rely on discipline, which is great, I'm a big advocate for exercising discipline, but after a while, discipline can get very exhausting. An analogy I draw is that I don't need discipline to watch my favorite soccer team play. That comes from within, no matter how much haram ball Arteta has us playing these days. Similarly, I know I have a love and passion for coding and technology from within, and when my videos or my work can't do that, I just need to make the time to scratch that itch of mine. And that passion carries over to my day job, and funnily enough to my videos since I'm making one about this. The core idea is, make time to explore your interests in coding and technology, with no real end goal. Whether you're a student, a self-taught developer, a professional programmer, I'm not saying abandon all your responsibilities like learning a course or doing a great job at work. What I'm saying is, make time for play. Make time to have fun with programming. Because fun is very infectious. Once you have fun in one part of your life, it's easy to carry that over to other parts of your life as well. I largely got this idea from the book Play by Christopher Vaughn and Stuart Brown. The core idea of the book is that playing isn't just something we do as kids. It's a necessary part of survival. That's because playing can be a source of energy, creativity, and practice. And that energy isn't just contained to what you're doing, but it spills over into other aspects of your life. We often give up playing with our interests for the sake of productivity and serious business. But the book argues that that takes away more of your energy in the long term while you're pursuing your goals, because everything related to work just seems tedious and boring. So go ahead and start playing with technology. Whether that's setting up an obscure Linux distro, ricing your desktop, whatever it is, explore it, make time for it. And when you make time for the things you care about, you forget what time it is. And an underrated way to make learning fun is by using Brilliant.org, the sponsor of today's video. Brilliant is an online learning platform jam-packed with lessons on math and science. It's one of the few apps designed to actually help you build problem-solving skills rather than just memorizing information from boring lecture videos. They do this by introducing a series of engaging puzzles, experiments, and quizzes across their lessons. Their lessons are crafted by experts from places like Stanford and MIT, and they're designed so you can learn a little bit every day, building a fun and consistent learning habit. Which is why I love Brilliant's mobile app. It makes learning fun, hands-on, and more importantly, portable, so I can learn from anywhere. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash bigboxsuite. Scan the QR code on screen, or click the link in the description or pinned comment. Brilliant's also given our viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Thank you to Brilliant.org for sponsoring this video, and thank you for your time. I am Big Box.